XCOM 2. Let's play with Fraka. To catch you guys up as to where we are, we have been stopping the Avatar sequel. A few missions ago we had to go get the the script from James Cameron computer. We did that. Oh, we got a black market. That sounds interesting. Last mission, we had to go stop their supply lines. They were sending over food for craft services. They were sending over film, costumes, etc. We took those supplies from them. I and mean, now we're using it against them. We're going to make sure this Avatar sequel does not get made. We're making contacts in the industry to let us know if it, they start to film there. We're going to know about it. So that's the idea. I'm going to go up to the black market because if we can't buy it on the normal market, let's buy it on the black market. Now this last mission, we had some concerning injuries while we were getting supply lines. Well, Skulljack is ready to go. Sounds like a plan. I'd much rather be doing the skull jacking than getting my skull jacked, if you know what I mean. And now we can skull mine. Okay. I think we might need to build a skull mine. That sounds absolutely terrifying. We're building a power relay. There's nothing in the proving ground right now. We can see what we can do. So it takes 50 supplies. We have only 140 supplies. Let's do this. Do we need to build one of these now that now that we have researched one? No. Okay. We do want to buy the arc blade. It's a large section of our supplies. It's going to limit what we can do, but it's just a really cool sword. So we're going to do that. And we're still looking to get a couple more faceless corpses for a mimic beacon. So we're going to head on back out of here. I want to go to the proving ground. And I want to drop Elizabeth from the Proving Ground. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have her start to clear out this alien ma machinery. So go ahead and start the evacuation. Uh, I only have one. Okay. That's something we can probably look to do after we get the next supply drop is... Some, uh, so another engineer would be very useful. Alright. That's good. So we can buy and sell our inventory, which will be useful moving forward. Let's head over to East Asia. And the idea here is that in East Asia, we're going to get a lot of coverage on this continent and be able to hold that ground against the movie producers. With the idea being, they fund us to continue to hold that ground. Good. So we've finished the resistance radio. We now have relays available. And we can do a Viper Autopsy. Let's do the Viper Autopsy. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to... And it was these snake creatures that attacked us so viciously in the last mission. But now we're going to see what makes them tick. And how we can potentially hurt them. The Avatar Project is moving along. They've been filming in locations we don't know about. They've been organizing. They're getting, I guess they're rebuilding that script we stole, so we have a problem. They're another step closer. It's very concerning. We're going to continue to look to make contact in East Asia, though. We've made contact in East Asia. We now have a higher income of 71. And we can make it out in New Indonesia, which sounds fantastic. All right. So we need to make a contact in New India. Let's, let's fly it over there. Okay, so we have to upgrade our our comms. So let's go back and we'll we'll do some research at home, potentially get some intel. We have to build better resistance communications in order to get to New India. Okay, we have an urgent communication. We have our supply coming through, excellent. And we have new staff available. Sounds good. Ooh, a hidden event. Our intel is 49. Let's reveal this event. It's 20 intel. I think we can get some more intel. Let's see what we get. Ooh. They're going to crack down on resistance recruitment, increasing the cost of by 100%. 
that could be very painful for us. I'm absolutely going to go get those supplies. You just go get them. We need that supply, so let's go pick them up. Okay. I don't know what this lock and load is, but we're going to continue. We have a mission. So we have neutralized target in the, eight, in, the, in the vehicle. We get 170 supplies, 85 intel. Winter face. Let's go winter face. Now, it sounds to me like this target might be a producer, or maybe they've finished their main casting. Okay. And they want us to bring the Skulljack along with us. We got Pete fresh out of the infirmary with his drone. We got Nico, which I don't think we potentially need on this one. We got Song, who's our sharpshooter. We got Jeeves, who's ready to rock. I think let's re remove her. Let's see who else we can get. Gretchen, still wounded. James Ryan, still wounded. Hmm. So, I'd like to bring a rookie along, but we also have this new item, the Skulljack. And I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking Nicole, probably the one we want to go with, because we can replace this grenade with a the Skulljack. And she has that that nice skill that allows her to stay hidden, even after we've been revealed, giving us the ability to move her quickly through the field, hidden, and then hopefully be able to Skulljack someone right up there close. So that's I think that's the name of the game here. So that's the name of the game. We're not bringing in any ways to break through walls. We have a couple grenades, but not many. But here's the, here's the game plan is, have Jeep scout out, set up Overwatch, Nicole's gonna flank hard, try to get close to an officer and skulljack him. And Pete and Song will do whatever they can to assist. Song's probably gonna take some long pot shots and Pete's gonna hopefully find a tower or something to do some hacking and potentially shock one of the enemies give him the old zap zap and maybe Nicole can get in there and skulljack him if you guys haven't tried it yet go ahead and try saying skulljack and we're going to go get this actor I'm convinced that it's probably the actor I don't know who they have for it if it's Ryan Reynolds we won't be seeing a Deadpool 2 because he's not walking out of this but we're hopefully gonna maybe we can capture him we do have the option to capture that potentially allows us to bring them back and give some interrogation. Let's go. Nico, Jeeves, Pete. What was the last one? Song. Right, he's in. Okay. So we do. We are looking to use the skull jack on an advent officer. Ooh. We have only a few turns to make a long ways forward. Look, this is the car. Who do we have here? This is Pete. That's not who we want to start with. We want to start with with Jeeves. And she, okay, so she can move a good distance up. Let's go. And you'll let us know if you see any aliens, Jeeps. Well, that's a long drop. Still in concealment, which is good. All right, Pete, we're going to move you up. I don't see anything you can hack yet. It's good to hack on each mission that you have available for a hacker. Because it does, if you do a successful hack, it increases their hacking skill by five. All right, time to move. We have found some enemies. So we can capture them if we have to get someone close enough to do so. All right, so that's good. Alternatively, we can just kill them, which I am not, uh, not too okay. We can, and when, and Song can kill them whenever he so pleases, which is also good. So these guys are cruising around. I think let's put Song over here. He's in the open, but I'm not concerned about it yet because we are still concealed. And she has the Skulljack. Skulljack right there. So we want to move her up very far. Because it's, it's, it is Nicole that is going to allow us to get close to one of those officers and give him the old Skulljack. So let's go. Look, at, It looks pretty cool on her arm. Okay, so the aliens are moving. I hear them move. I don't see them. Oh, we have a couple guys on the other side that have come into our site. 
Who do you have? Okay, just him. I think that we have to prepare to attack this turn. So, Nicole. Let's see, Nicole. I don't want to leave you in a bad position in case your camouflage doesn't work. Let's put you here. Let's put you in Overwatch. Alright, we have Jeeves, who. We have Song, who has a shot on one of them, but he's also very much in the open. I think let's pull him up right here. This is a good position. No, it allows a flank. Okay, let's put him here. Moving the designated coordinates. And we're going to have you overwatch. So we, we have this guy inside that's, that's a problem. Because they're coming at us from two different angles which we want to be very wary of. Because Pete's got eyes on this guy. But they don't know we're here yet. So what I'm thinking, I'm thinking let's let's plan to attack these two on the left up here, these two guys, and we'll drop them, and that leaves us in a good position to defend against the other guys coming coming through. Confirm. Okay. Good shots on both of those guys. So you go ahead and go overwatch conceal. All right, Jeeves. She's going to be our shooter. Which she doesn't have quite the movement points I would like. But let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get this thing off. Do you have a shot? You do. 61%. Hopefully they drop in one. Let's go. We didn't drop. We are no longer, we are no longer, uh, come on. yeah, really, come on. Yes, they're onto us. And, okay, Nicole did, is still concealed. We should have three shots coming out. Good shooting from Pete. Song? Song dropped him with his pistol. Good shooting from Song. So this stunner guy is is who we're going to look to skull jack. Oh, he's coming through, and they're out. Pete, look out, Pete! Oh, four damage. Pete's going right back in the infirmary. Unfortunate, but that that happens sometimes. Can Nicole get there? She cannot. Hmm. I think Pete's gonna have to drop this guy. We definitely don't want him don't want him continuing to stun people. Go ahead and kill him. Oh Pete has dropped that enemy. Nope, he is not. I would still like to get Nico close enough to be useful. Let's see where's Jeeb what can Jeeves do? I think let's move Jeeves over here. That potentially gets us a shot on the psychic guy. Or she can heal Pete. And I think Nicole continues and goes after the VIP. Moving on target location. Okay. So it, it gets us oh a better shot on him. Let's take the better shot. 65%. She doesn't have a grenade, so go ahead and take the shot. Okay! Good shooting from Jeeves. That guy is down. Target neutralized. Giving us oh, and a promotion. That's pretty cool. So Song has a 36% hit chance to hit the alien. Let's let's move. If she gets that close, she'll be revealed. Let's move her up here. So Nicole is ready to rock. We have a 36% chance. It will just about kill him and potentially make him retreat. I think we have to go for it. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Come on, Song. Song missed. Unfortunately, he tried to shoot through a car, which is going to be difficult in the best of situations. So he, he is falling back, which is, and unfortunately, it's flanked on Jeeves, who has taken some damage. That looked painful. That was quite painful. Can she, and Jeeves can get right up next to this guy. I think she does it. Alright, go Jeeves. 
Give him the old slash. You know what to do. Yeah. One hit, one kill. No skull jack. Necessary. She hacked him in half. Cut to the heart. You're too late. You just got a big shank. So grumpy, hippie, cut that guy in two. That wouldn't, I don't think I would, uh, would suggest messing with that hippie. Woo! That sword did a lot of damage to him quickly. So here's the plan, is we're going to knock this guy out with Nicole. So, are you going to do your knockout? Okay, we got subdue, we're going to knock him out. Boom. Alright, so we're going to pick him up and start to carry him towards the extraction point. So we're going to start moving, moving our people in position to the extraction point. Unfortunately, we did not get an opportunity to use a skull jack. But that happens. So we're going to put Pete's... Well, let's see if we can't make sure that the extraction point area is clear. Jeeves is going to have to run quite a ways to get there, but that's okay. Okay, they're coming right in next to our extraction point. Wonderful. So, it's up a couple levels. So, what we want to do is prepare for this, this drop. First thing Pete's going to do is get in position and overwatch. Jeeves needs to just run because he has to get as close to the extraction point as possible. Song, similar to Pete, needs to prepare to do an overwatch as they come into, into play. So overwatch with your pistol. Now Nico is going to carry our VIP. We want to pull him out alive. Pick him up. Let's go. We'll carry you if we have to. And, and we we are going to carry him. Let's put him, put her over here. She's moving in slow. She's got. Looks like the main actor was cast. So that could be Sam Worthington. We don't know. Here comes the drop. So hopefully we'll get at least a couple shots out of these guys as they come out of the ship. Looks like we have the red officer, a stunner, and just a normal grunt. So with any luck, we won't take much damage here. We can, we can get past these guys relatively smoothly. Here we go. First shot from Song. Three damage on the officer. Looks good. Second shot from Pete. Three damage. Oh, he missed. Pete missed. Unfortunate. But the officer is now in grenade range, which is useful. Okay. And we have a hack option. Do we take the hack option? I think we at least have to explore it because we don't have the best shot on these guys. All right, send the gremlin, Pete. Let's see what happens when we hack. Because, like I said, five points every time we successfully hack a system. So only a 37% chance to hack. I don't think I don't think we I don't think we run the risk here. So we're going to cancel the hack. So our enemies here, and we need. I'd like to position Pete. Hmm, where can we put Pete to be useful? And the grenades. All right, we're gonna put him here. We're gonna move Pete up. Okay. So we're gonna throw a frag grenade. Three to four damage. Can we get both? No, we can't. But we can take out the cover. But then we lose one. Or. We have 55% chance to hit him, potentially kill him, or I think I think let's throw the grenade and we'll take out the grunt. Can we get that far with the grenade? We can't. But we'll we will do damage to him as well as remove his cover, allowing someone else to take out the stunner. Okay. So now he doesn't have any cover, which makes it easier for someone else to finish him. Jeeves is still a long ways out much farther than I would like. Let's pull her up here. She's not going to be able to participate in an attack this turn. 
Song, on the other hand, should be able to. We're going to have him drop this guy. So go ahead and let's drop him with your sniper rifle, Song. Good shooting. That unfortunately leave, leaves Pete a prime target and Nicole's going to be coming up as well. I doubt she will be able to shoot carrying our actor, but this is where we're at. Yeah, she can't shoot, so her hands are full. So maybe we move her even farther up. I think, no, I think let's leave her here. Um, yeah, let's leave her here. So how do I intern? Here we go. Intern. So we have these two guys, okay, taking a shot at, okay, marked Nicole. Probably gonna take a shot at Nicole too, I assume. Yeah, he's coming in. Look out, Nicole. Nicole has taken some damage. So we have quite a few people have taken damage on this mission. Unfortunate. Alright, so what we want to do is. Hmm, we need a way to drop the officer. Alright, Pete, go ahead and drop that guy. Good shooting from Pete. Dropped the enemy. And he's out of ammo, which is, but that's okay. Now, Jeeves has a 21% chance to shoot the officer from her current position. Let's take it, let's go ahead and take it. Let's go, Jeeves. Didn't, didn't work out. I can't say I'm surprised. Yeah, we know. So we have Song, who also has a 40% a chance to drop. Let's take, hopefully this one will hit, and we can move towards the extraction point. Also missed. Come on, Song. So this officer is doing a good job of dodging. And Nicole has yet to move. We're going to move her far away from the officer. Oh, he's an Overwatch. Didn't expect that. Missed. That car is going to blow up next turn. It could potentially have Pete inside the explosive range. Can we actually move her up here? We're getting hurt. We're, we're we're pushing to get this VIP to the extraction point so that we can we can get Nico back in the action. Still marked Nico. He's moving. Where's he going? He's an Overwatch. He does not take damage, and I think we can absolutely drop this guy pretty easily before we start moving. Song, do you have a clear shot? Yes. With what? Pistol? All right. Well, hold on. Does does Pete still have a grenade? Pete does not, but I think Song did. Song, I want to select Song. Song has a grenade. We're going to put a grenade on this guy. Okay. So we should be free to move towards the extraction point very quickly. So the extraction point is on top. All right, Nicole, you're first up. Is that inside or outside? I think I think I might have just clicked outside, unfortunately. So we'll have to spend another turn to get it to get it correctly corrected. Yeah, it looks like that's one step outside. Jeeps, you're up. You're not going to be able to get all the way there. We're going to leave you in some cover. Pete, you're next. Let's get you to the extraction point. Solid copy. So it looks like this is going to be a successful mission. Unfortunately, we do have three guys heading to the infirmary, which is which is painful, but it's it's what it is. Do we have anyone else with turns? No. Okay. So we're going to end the turn. Alright. So so Nicole, you're first up. We're going to move you back into the extraction range. Switching over to Song, since he is the farthest out, and he cannot get there this turn. We'll put we'll put him as close as possible. He is just about out of out of ammo. Pete, you're good. We're gonna have you over. We're gonna have you reload. You know what? Let's have him hack. 
we're on our way out. I think we can we can probably allow for it. Let's see what we get. No, let's go for it. So we potentially oh well we we failed pretty hard. They know they know where we are. I don't I don't know that it's going to send any new ones in. I'm hoping we can get out of here before that impacts us. So nice hack, Pete. Way to fail. Okay. And he can't do anything else. Alright, so let's move Jeeves into the extraction point. And can she overwatch? Nope, she's done. Okay, and that leaves that leaves end of turn. So next turn we're gonna get Song up there and we'll be good to go. So we are now all at the extraction point. So we can get them out of here. Alright guys, let's get out of here. Song. Evac. Evac. Nicole, evac. You got the actor. You got Sam Worthington. Alright, he won't be making a sequel. They're gonna have to recast that role. Jeeves, evac. And Pete, evac. Successful mission. Quite a few guys have taken some damage, which is unfortunate. We have we have Pete with some damage. He just got out of the infirmary. He's going right back in. We got Jeeves who took her first damage, and we got Nico who took some damage. Overall, we were able to extract Sam Worthington, and we'll we'll see what we, information we can get from him. Jeeves absolutely came in with a huge sword attack. Did lots of damage. Nicole took quite a few shots. She was marked and dodged some fire. Allowed her to get... But she was also the one carrying Sam Worthington. Who went down with a sucker punch in the face. I gotta say, I would have expected a bit more from Sam Worthington. He was in the Avatar. He was in, he was in the Terminator series. I think James Cameron really liked Sam Worthington. He's going to be a bit upset that we have now taken him from an option to act in his new movie. So let's hand out some promotions and we'll call this we'll call this a session guys. So everyone's making it out of it out of the out of the ship on their own free will, on their own accord, on their own motor. But man, we have a lot of people gravely wounded. So let's promote Pete. Old Pete. Look at him. We got revival protocol. We got haywire protocol. I think we'll stick him, and Haywire Protocol sounds interesting because it allows him to potentially control mechanical units such as turrets. It'd be very useful. So let's go with that one. Alright, Pete, go heal up. Let's, let's promote Song. So Song has Dead Eye and Lightning Hands. Lightning Hands sounds pretty cool. I think let's go with Deadeye though. Allows us to drop the aim a little bit with more damage. Gives us gives us a nice option. And it sticks this one uses the pistol, which means we have to get closer, and Song is really getting set up for a, a sniper, pure sniper, where he's long a long ways away taking these shots. So let's get him Deadeye. And Jeeves. So we have Shadow Strike, Wind Concealed, and Shadow Step. I like Shadow Step. It doesn't trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. Very exciting. Allows her to quickly close that gap without worrying about them being able to shoot at her as she runs in. I think that's the way to go. It doesn't also does not force her to be concealed. So yes, Shadow Step you have, and that's it. And Song able to not take damage. The only one in the mission who didn't take damage. Been on quite a few missions, got quite a few kills. Jeeves. Four missions, eight kills, solid count. So here we go. And we have an Illyrium core, and we have... That's not Steve Williams, that's Sam Worthington. You can tell. Look at this guy. What's up, Sam Worthington? So we have 170 supplies and 85 intel. Fantastic. Nicole has been shaken. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. 
Okay, so we have to remember that Nicole is shaken. She has a reduced will. That's unfortunate. But this has been a fun session. No deaths, which is which is good. Unfortunately, lots of people have been injured. So we'll, we'll hopefully get them to heal up and be ready to go for the next time.